I'm doing a collab today with some of the Aussie artists that I am in a Discord server with and the artists that I'm going to be doing the collab with today is Ella Pessinen, Violet Connie Art and Sandy Gasket. And the creator of this collab was Violet Connie Art. So thank you Connie for creating this collab. I always love being a part of collabs. So when I get the opportunity, I jump right for it. <laughs> the collab theme is your favorite 80s kids movie. Being a kid of the 80s, I grew up with a lot of interesting, very interesting sh TV shows, I must admit. Some of the stuff they wouldn't broadcast now because there's way too many sensitive people out there that would probably be offended by half the stuff uh, that was back then. But what I chose um, that I could really, really relate to and um, I really, really enjoyed watching and it did terrify me and frighten me as a child as well <laughs> was The Dark Crystal. So I'm going to be drawing uh, something related to the Dark Crystal. And what I chose, to, what, I'm, what I'm choosing to draw today is Kira, who is uh, one of the, uh, one of the main characters of the movie. So what I'm going to be using today to draw this piece with is my Faber-Castell watercolors and some B paper, uh, watercolor paper, uh, that's 100% cotton, 300 GSM, it's cold press, and the wonderful Chantel from Darkest Raven Design sent this to me to try. And I'm only just getting to try it now because I've, I've just had so much stuff <laughs> to try and I'm trying to just put it all in where I can. So yeah, I finally get to try this wonderful paper from the wonderful Chantel. So yeah, let's get drawing for this collab. When I think of the 80s and what I watched as a kid, the first thing that pops in my mind is the Dark Crystal because it's just, it really did have a bit of an impact on me because it was a little bit dark and creepy. And I just, I really, really, really loved it. It was just one of those movies that my mum would take me down to the video store every school holidays and I would get it out and watch the shit out of it. <laughs> so, it was just natural that with this collab that I just gravitated to Dark Crystal. It was just it was just something that my brain just went straight to. Now this wasn't the first design that I was going to do for this collab. I actually originally was going to do a Skeksis, but I just scrapped that. I just didn't want to do a monster. I sort of wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit nicer and and still add a little bit of the gore to it as well. So that's why I didn't do the Skeksis and people are probably thinking that I would have but <laughs> but no not not this time and not this case. So I'll give you a quick rundown of Kira in the movie. I won't spoil too much uh, just in case you haven't seen it or you want to see it. Uh, but basically the movie takes place on the planet Thra. The Skeksises have killed most of the Geldlings, which is what Kira is. Um, and they've killed most of them except for Jen and Kira who meet by a swamp <laughs> in the movie and realize that they that each of them are not the only ones left on the planet. Akira was raised by the podlings, uh, which are these cute little things. You'll have to watch the movie to see what I mean. And she can talk to animals. Now she's got a pet 
little fizz gag and he is just a fluffy looking little critter. That's how I like to describe him because that's what he looks like. He's even got all the different rows of teeth like a critter. <laughs> so he's quite fluffy and, and weird and cute, kind of cute looking in a disturbing way. So Kira does die in the movie, um, but the ritual master Skeksog, I mean, sorry, Kira does die in the movie uh, by the ritual master, the Skeksog, but is later brought back to life by the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Erg Skeks, Erg, Your Skeks or whatever. I haven't seen the movie for a while, so <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce half of this. Um, they are like a tall glowing being and they restore Kira's life due to Jen's actions of, um, you know, healing the crystal and because he goes on the adventure um, to, you know, save, save the crystal. So they revive Kira as a thank you. Uh, and yeah, Kira and Jen get married and rejuvenate Thra. So that's basically the gist of the movie um, from what I can remember. <laughs> like I said, I didn't, I didn't end up sitting down and watching this movie. I haven't had time to sort of sit down and really uh, re-watch the movie, but I did watch it a couple of years ago and remembered those sort of bits from the movie. So hopefully I've got them... Uh, Right, I did look up a little bit of it because I was a little bit unsure, but yeah, some, sorry for the pronunciation on some of that because, like I said, I can't remember. I can't remember certain things uh, about the movie and especially names because I'm pretty hopeless at names. So to the piece now, this one was, uh, was basically uh, going to include Fizzgag, but I dropped him at the last minute because I just... I just wanted to do Kira. I just wanted to do something quite nice uh, and uh, and sort of flowy with her hairs. And I just didn't have a spot to put Fizz Gag. So uh, I left him out. And the crystals were something that I came up with straight away where I wanted them coming out from her head. And it's, it's kind of like they're just busting out and the, the blood sort of you know, coming down a little bit and sort of oozing a bit. And she's in a little bit of pain because this is happening. Uh, the reasons why I've done it like that, it just felt like it, <laughs> is there's no sort of rhyme or reason why I went into, you know, did it that way. But what better, what better paint to use than Connie's purple palette for the crystals in Kira's head? She created the collab, so I wanted to bust out the purple palette from Connie. So that's why, that's what I've done. And also the other nice little um, fairy dust one as well, because it's just so pretty. And I wanted to give a nice shine to this piece with some sparkly, you know, just some really nice bits to this as well. Now I've got to work on my crystals because these crystals are not the best. This is the second time I've done crystals. So and, and, and this is a large cluster as well. The first one I did was just a single crystal on its own. Uh, I really liked that one that I did, but this, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> crystals are a little bit, uh, I don't know. I think I put the colors in maybe some weird spots and put some different purples in there that I, maybe I shouldn't have, but I don't know. I will be working on it in the future because um, I don't mind doing crystals because I really, really do love crystals. Now some of the shading with the hair, I decided to go in with the uh, the line, the liner, and yeah, just do some shading. Uh, I, I sort of uh, like that sort of technique. I've been doing a lot, lot lately, and I uh, really, really enjoy it. So I'm going to keep doing it in the future with all the hair. One thing I noticed that I forgot to do, which 
I don't know why, was there was supposed to be some cracking from on her skin in the crystal areas. And at the final stage, I completely forgot to add them in and yeah, I left them out and I've only just realized <laughs> that I've done that. So uh, yeah, anyway. And then I put the beautiful sparkly purple uh, paint around, the watercolor around her eyes because I wanted it to look like her eyes were glowing. Once again, I don't think I executed that overly great, <laughs> but it does sort of give the effect that the amethyst glow is sort of like coming out of her eyes as well because there is a part in the movie where that kind of does happen she gets drained kira gets drained and there's like this light coming out of her eyes so yeah i sort of wanted to replicate that and uh yeah the, then i added the blood around the crystals and uh, then i added the shading and then i added the final touches which is the white the white gel pens and the white paint pens. Uh, I sort of went a little bit heavy handed on her lips with the white pen, so I ended up trying to go back over it and, and removing a lot of it and just dulling it. So yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. I got a bit too excited there, <laughs> which I tend to do. I haven't done it in a really long time, but yeah, it's just, it just happened again. So I tried to fix that mistake as well. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this piece and please go and check out the other, the other uh, people's collabs because they, are, they are, will all be just amazing. And I'm so happy to be part of this collab and thank you Connie once again for creating this collab. And just before I go, I just want to tell you a bit about this bee paper. Oh my God, chef's kiss. It is beautiful paper. It is just, oh, it's it's up there. It is definitely up there for one of my absolute favorite papers. I really need to get hold of some of this. And yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Like I, I really uh, love the way that the watercolor just spread over the paper just really nicely. It was just, it's just a really nice watercolor. You just, just, just trust me. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I really, 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 really enjoyed this. And I will leave you with the rest of this video now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.